Hey guys, Lee Taft here. Welcome to Speed Tips in My Garage in the Classroom. Today is episode number 183. I want to talk to you about uh, taking the ankle range of motion that you're going to gain with your athletes pre-workout and then being able to stabilize it using a very, very simple method, okay? It's, and it's just called 3D landings, all right? So if we do any kind of ankle range of motion exercise, okay, where we're working on creating range of motion through the joint while the heel is down, we need to make sure we can stabilize it. So the first thing I believe is if we're going to help to start stabilizing it, let's do some kind of, you know, closed chain exercise where we're reaching. I can be reaching in all directions. And what I'm doing is I'm forcing that ankle to be able to maintain position so that I don't fall. But then we have to be able to do this more dynamically or in an open uh, chain exercise. It becomes closed once my foot lands, but we're leaving the ground and landing so that it does become kind of an open exercise as well. So the next one, all we're going to do is we're going to simply do a leap forward. So I leap and I stick and see if I can maintain body position while I land. And then we're going to do the same thing laterally. Let me go this way. Stick. Lateral, hold good position, and then we're going to do it backwards. Be able to notice when I land backwards, I land dorsiflex. I don't point my toe and then absorb all that way. I want to be in a position where as soon as I land, I can stick and stabilize it, okay? And then eventually, you can go into multiple hop and holds and you know obviously you know straight up and down i can go forward and backwards okay forward and backwards sticking and i can go right to left doing the same thing always trying to maintain proper positioning so that that ankle range of motion that i gained during my early exercises can now be sustained and stabilized so hey guys we'll see you again from for another speed tips from my garage